Magandang uh, umaga po sa inyong lahat. Welcome po sa Kadayo sa uh, Adventure YouTube Channel. Ngayon pong araw na ito ay uh, araw ng Martes, September 14, 2021. Ang uh, schedule po natin at ang vlog po natin ngayon ay tayo po ay pupunta sa kampo. Sa ating kampo sa Patangas. Uh, tayo po ay isa sa kasamang manunumpa o, dahil meron po doon oath taking ceremony ng mga elected uh, provincial officers of Lingkod Bayan and advocacy support group at tayo po ay uh, isa sa napili na manunumpa kasama ang si uh, Sergio Buo at saka yung po taga San Antonio na siya kumakatawa ang Pangulo ngayon si Honorable uh, Nelson Lopez kasama po namin ngayon ay ang hepe ng polis na sa Pascual at saka si Sir Jun Alulod Sasamahan po nila kami doon at kami po ay manunumpa, manunumpa sa harap mismo ng ating butihing uh, Police General uh, Guillermo Lorenzo Eliasar, ang ating pong kasalukuyang at iginagalang na Chief Philippine National Police. Mayroon po siyang command visit sa ating uh, probinsya ng Batangas, sa ating kampo. At kasabay, pa, kasabay, pa, kasabay po noon ay ang... Uh, panunumpa ng mga elected uh, provincial officers sa signing of pledge and commitment and awarding of stakeholders and PNP personnel. Kaya mapalat po kami sapagkat makakasama namin ngayong araw na ito ang ating putihing uh, Chief PNP Ilyasar. Ano mga kasama, samahan niyo ako. Ladies and gentlemen, the presence of the Chief Philippine National Police, Police General Guillermo Lorenzo Pintalizal. Let us put ourselves in the presence of the Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, we praise and thank you for giving us a new day and an opportunity to serve the Filipino people. As we gather here for the command visit of our beloved Chief PNP, Police General Guillermo Lorenzo de Ilesa. We invoke your blessings upon each and every one of us. Lord, please guide, enlighten, and inspire us so that in whatever matters we do, we'll always redound to the betterment of the Philippine National Police, our country, and for your people. Bless also our leaders, Empower them by your divine providence to seek the truth and justice in everything for the sake of the real transformation of the organization through the intensified cleanliness policy of the GPNP. Lord, please open our eyes that we may see what you want us to see. Open our ears that in our dialogue, we hear what you want us to hear. And please open our hearts, that we may feel as you feel, towards those in greatest need of our services, most especially in this time of pandemic. We ask all this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen.
In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. To our GP Peter, we'll be for Maria Peter. To Lisa Letang General, Ferdinand Paulina, the Director, Daiko Tavim Luton Church. To Lisa Major General, Rodel O. Sermonia, the Director of PDPCR Church. To Lisa Colonel, Gregory B. Bungalbad, the Senior to the Office of the PCRB, Sierra Louis Ajitar. To the members of the PRO, for the Commandant of the Staff, headed by the Abudusa, the Director of the Messiah of the Cruz Cruz, the Apopo Regional Director, Police Colonel, Herando Laporte Mayo, the DRDO, Police Colonel, Raquel Abigayo, the Chief, RPNT, Police Lieutenant Colonel, Renato Mercado, the Chief, RNFB, Police Lieutenant Colonel, Eric Sonkila, the Chief, RPNT, Arkad, Police Lieutenant Colonel Marco Alasate, the Chief RFD. To all the members of the Batangas Provincial Police Police Office, other staff officers, sa ating po mga advocate support group na natinito sa ngayon, sa inyo pong lahat, magandang umaga. Seeing the good leadership skill in realistic programs of a well-respected chief PNP evokes emotion and aspiration to take action for the battle to the betterment of the whole PNP organization. Witnessing such leadership through the news in the television and radio program as well as in the social media have a threshold for motivation among the ranks. Today, your visit, sir, is ended an honor to all the officers and men and women of Batangas PPO. Hence, we would like to extend our warmest welcome and good wishes. Your visit, sir, is a great inspiration. As our father and the Philippine National Police, you lead us by example, also in the implementation of the intensified cleanliness policy that has opened possibilities for improvement in the field of public service. Your leadership, sir, has challenged us to deliver more of what is expected from us. I am proud to say, sir, here in Batangas, we have gone beyond and still continues to go above the expectations of our leaders and the community we serve. We, your subordinate, sir, in high, is in high spirit with you as our leader in the fulfilling of our mandates as a law enforcer and experience in our locality. Without further ado, let me again welcome you, all sir, to Batangas Provincial Police Office, the home of Maginoo at Magikiti in the police. May you keep the fire boarding, sir, for we know there are still more opportunities Opening soon for you in the field of public service. More power, sir. Good day and God bless us all. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Rossi Cancelau, to be assisted by Chief RPRMD, Police Colonel Raquel D. Mendayo to do the honor in presenting the awards. Nidaya ng Katapangan is awarded for his participation during the police operations conducted during the outbreak of Marami crisis on May 23, 2017 onwards. Police Staff Sergeant Nino Ona Kadani. Thank you very much, sir. 
Medalla ng Kagalingan is awarded for the successful implementation of 12 search warrants on May 6, 2-7, 2021 in Rizal and Quezon Province that resulted in the arrest of four personalities and seizure of 12 explosives. Police Medana Pasini. Executive Master Sergeant Emilia Esteva Mendoza. Medalla ng Pagmuri is awarded during the conduct of joint police operations against wanted person in CTO Pinamangonang Barangay Kuhay in San Francisco, Gaza that was over in the arrest of Angelito Panginiban for the crime of murder. Police Major Luisito Marquez Adindo. Medalla ng Pakuri is awarded during the conduct of police operations against wanted person in Barangay Wawa, Nasir. For a uh, director of the uh, Council of the Town Area Police Command, Mr. Lieutenant General Ferdinand Divina, sir, <laughs> to the director of the DPCR, the PNP, Mr. Major General Rodel O. Sermonia, sir. To other senior officers of the Philippine National Police, awardees, stakeholders, and the PNP personnel awardees, Vice Governor of the Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. We are glad to have present here today the notable public servant of the Medal Police Officer and our guest of honor and future. He was born to Victor Tatay Soti in the Tsar and Victoria Nana Itoya in the Tsar on November 18, 1965 in Tagpawaya, Texas. After graduating from the high school in his hometown in the Kawayan Quezon, he was challenged by his father, the guerrilla, during the Second World War, and an awarded Philippine veteran to apply to the Philippines. The values are happening in high trafficking group in southern Tagalog region. And as chief investigator of the police anti-crime and emergency response for the nation, which was the forerunner of today's anti-kidnapping group, where he figured prominently in the neutralization of various kidnapping for under. He also made his mark abroad as the operation officer, the air and naval movement coordinator, and the liaison officer of the United Nations Transitional Authority in Cambodia, or UNTA. As concurrent commander of the Joint Task Force COVID-19, as the deputy chief for administration, he took various initiatives to protect the police frontliners as current commander of the BNP's administrative support for COVID-19 as for or as for until he was named as the 26th chief of the Philippine National Police. A medal and well-rounded officer, he received a bonus award that includes the top government award in the Metro Bank Foundation in its annual award for continuing excellence in service, 
the Civil Service Commission Presidential Likud Bayan for Best Public Service in Metro Manila all in 2019. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the country's most trusted police officers and our guest of honor speaker, the Chief Lorenzo Corentino Eliasar. Please uh, be seated. Mr. Eli for that uh, very kind uh, uh, introduction. Ayan yung uh, magbigay po po ako sa aking mga kamahal na nandito ngayon. Uh, una ang ating pong uh, commander ng Area Police Command for Southern Luzon, Police and Lieutenant General Ferdi Lipina. Parang kapat po natin. Kasama rin po natin dito ang uh, Director ng Police Community Relations sa PNP, Police Major General Rodel Sermonia. At sa uh, Regional Director ng uh, Police Regional Office sa Calabarzon, walang iba, kundi si Police Premier General Eli, Eli Cruz. Para po natin. At ang uh, Provincial Director ng uh, Batangas Police Provincial Office, Police Colonel Glicerio Pansilaw. So, kung makikita nyo po, kompleto dito, may isang 4-star, may 3-star, may 2-star, may 1-star, at yung Police Kernel na PD ng Batangas ni Pino. Parang pakatulit natin. Kaya yung kumbatiin ko din ang uh, members ng uh, uh, Regional Command Group and other official staff, ang Deputy Regional Director for Operations sa uh, Police uh, uh, Kernel, Jerry Umayaw. Parang pakatulit natin. Ang senior executive assistant at the office of the chief PNP, uh, Police Colonel Gregory Bugdagbal. <laughs> ang uh, OIC Regional Pastoral Unit, Police Colonel Joel Barayas. Panang pa natin siya. <laughs> Gusto ko rin matiin ng uh, mga uh, other members of uh, Batangas sa PPO, the uh, members of their command group, as well as the uh, director and staff as well as the, the chief of the different uh, support unit, and especially to the chiefs of police, both from the four city police station and 30 municipal police station. Let's give them a big round of applause. So, yung ang ating mga awardees and stakeholders for uh, today's uh, uh, event, the president of Mayor's League, and the Mayor of San Jose, Batangas, Mayor Valentino Patron. The program winner of Rockfish International Batangas Downtown, Miss Michelle Dati Pinoo. Palakman natin. The Board of Director of Silver Peak Group Companies Foundation, Miss Cindy Tison. The President of Shooting Star Trading, Mr. Bayani Juan Marabe. The Chairman of the Commission Council, Mr. Armando Lasarte, Palakuan natin. And the President of LGBTQ, Mr. Jeffrey Yuson, Palakuan natin sila. Then, uh, uh, Siyempre, ito rin po yung ating mga provincial officers and members of the Coalition Link to Bayan and Bola Support Group and Force of the Fire na mamaya ay uh, mag-detake off uh, dito po sa atin from the Foreign National Keepers Network, or FFKN, Mr. Ahmad Alcala, and Ms. Pinke Omar. <laughs> the President of National Coalition of IT Advocates for Change, or NCTA, Amber Reyes Formento. <laughs> the President of Global PCR, Roland Perono. <laughs> the President of Women Sector, Dr. Sheryl Villanueva. The President of Fort Worth Fires, Eric Landicho. The President of Barangay Base Organization, Teresa Atienza. The President of Faith Base Organization, Pastor Mark Anthony Valdivia. The President of Kabataan Contra Droga Terrorismo Protege Dat, Ms. Serene Joyce Mavez. The President of Kalikasan, Mr. Erwin Alviso. The President of Joint Industrial Peace Concerns Officer Jim Tom, Mr. Romeo Makailaw. Palapakas ko natin sila. Sila po yung mga bahagi ng Likudbayan, Advoke Support Group, and Force Multiplier. 
Uh, Kanina po ay kasama na ako dito and uh, I believe is nandito dito rin po siya ang Vice Governor ng uh, Batangas tulad dyan po uh, Vice Governor Marlon Feviste parang pala natin siya The other uh, uh, officers of uh, Batangas ni Vivo the Police Stand Commission officers and uh, the non-uniform personnel for that matter the men and women of Batangas Police Provincial Office Uh, members of the media, those who are joining us online, ito po makasamahan natin ng mga PNP, particularly here in uh, Batangas Tepio as well as uh, Pierro Calabarzon, other distinguished guests, those who are watching us online, ladies and gentlemen, magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Batangas is uh, very close uh, to my heart, next to my home my uh, home province of uh, Quezon. This is because I was assigned here when I was a junior officer and that was, I believe, was year 2000 when I was designated as the provincial officer of Batangas CABG. I stayed here for two years dyan sa isang uh, opisina dyan at uh, naghalubino ang ating mga kasamahan dito po sa Batangas sa PPO. Aside from my mother is from Batangas, from Santo Tomas, uh, Batangas. So, ako po'y taga Quezon, uh, ang father ko ay taga Quezon, taga Lumpan Quezon, ang mother ko naman ay taga Santo Tomas, Batangas, pero ako po'y lumaki sa bayan ng uh, uh, Tagkawayan na uh, Quezon. Kaya nga po, still, I can remember my days here as the provincial officer of CIDG. And also, uh, I was here before, just for a, just for a brief moment, as the regional director of Police Regional Office Court. But almost half of my career, uh, I spent here in uh, Southern Tagalog during the time. Uh, my first assignment after graduation for the PMA is uh, in Southern Tagalog, being a junior officer of the Defunct Philippine Constabulary. Noon ay PC, uh, PCIMP Regional Command Pa. Pinagsama pa itong five uh, provinces, the mainland provinces of uh, Kelmarzol and the five island provinces of Mimaropa. Napakalaki nga, no? And then, uh, from time to time, I was assigned here not only as a uh, part of the Regional Mobile Force Battalion, but of course, as Chief of Police in Laguna, and also uh, uh, a junior officer of the Highway Patrol uh, Group. I can still remember that when I was here, uh, ang makasama namin doon, the Police uh, Chief Inspector of Anzadilla and Police Chief Inspector uh, uh, Villa Franca, nasa CDL ko, pero CDG, pero sila naman is nasa uh, PPO. And uh, merong time noon na may pwede at may pagkakataon, mabisita ko rin ang ating mga police provincial offices and city police office. And I've done that on uh, at least uh, 12 regions or 13 regions na aking iniuta na for the past 3 months. Kaya nga lang, dito sa police regional office for dahil nga sa malapit sa Metro Manila or even though malapit sa Metro Manila eh mula naman noon hanggang ngayon eh lagi na lang na tayo ay mataas ang quarantine status particularly sa Laguna at uh, uh, ay either nasa ECQ or NECQ kaya hindi ko mabisita ang ating uh, RXQ but just the same I have seen this opportunity to visit Batangas sa uh, uh, PPO na pwede naman puntahan so that uh, I can see for myself the men and women of Batangas PPO makita ang inyong sitwasyon uh, pang seguridad at uh, uh, makalusugan at uh, makapagbigay ng pugay sa ating mga kasamahan na nagtatrabaho base na rin sa mandato na ibinigay uh, para sa atin. Uh, kasabay na pagpunta ko dito ay magbigay ng parangal sa ating mga kasamahan na binigyan natin ng uh, parangal. Ito yung binigyan natin ng na intervention, human intervention. At uh, hinimo ko ang lahat ng ating mga commanders in the ground at lahat ang buo ng ating recruitment process, pati na rin sa ating mga bayan, naging bahagi ito. Naging kultura na kasi ng ate sa atin na sa pag-recruit sa sa pag ng mga polis sa atin, inisip natin na kailangan may kakilala ka uh, para makapasok kasi pag hindi, eh baka may slas o hindi ka matanggap. Yun ang binabago natin na kultura. Dapat may parehas na chance sa lahat Dahil kung meron pa din yung system at meron palakasan, dyan papasok ang korupsyon na sinasamantala ng ilang 
mga pulis na tarantado na merong kutsaba pa ng mga sabihan. At siya nakita natin. Kaya nga, di ba, uh, uh, minsan mag-iisip ka, bakit tayo merong pulis na nagpapakamatay? Meron kung pumatay is uh, walang pakundangan, meron iba. Uh, sariling kamag-anak is muna mulas siya. Hindi kaya, baka naman dapat sa simula pa lamang, eh, hindi na naging pulis itong ibang ito. Why do we have more than 222,000 members of the Philippine National Police? At nakikita natin, naiilan ilan ito bang ito? But just the same, binigyan ang kapangirihan ng ating bata sa ating pulis para maghawak ng baril at mag-design kung paano ito gagamitin. Kaya nga, nararapat lamang na talagang piling-piling ang papasok sa atin. At pagpasok sa kapulisan, andyan ang ating mga intervensyon, ang magandang training at magandang pangumuno ng ating mga commanders. Kaya nga natin binibigyan ng emphasis to our Victoria Regional Director, to our Provincial Director, and to our Chief of Police and other Unit Commanders and Supervisors. Kailangan natin ang effective supervision. Not only from the Chief PNP, but down the line sa ating lahat. Tayo naniniwala, andyan ang mga policy, andyan lahat ang mga programa. Sa akin nakita sa more than 38 years in my police service and military service, at lahat, halos lahat ng baitang ay aking napagdaanan. Nakita ko ang ginawang effort ng lahat na namuno ng ating PNP. Andyan na ang mga programa. Andyan na ang pulisiya. Andyan na ating roadmap. At pati yan ay ating binabagot, binamodify, depende sa situasyon. What we have to do is the strict enforcement or implementation of this in the ranks. Ito ay ating responsibilidad sa tulong ng ating mga stakeholders. Cleanliness in the community. Ito kayo yung sinasabi natin na malinis na komunidad. Literal pwede sabihin natin, malinis na kapaligiran. Alam nyo sa iba mga police station na akin nasilip dahil sila ay bahagi ng katubi ng parang government center. E yung paglilis sila, paglilis sila, paglilis sila, na kayang-kaya naman, na doable, na pwedeng tulungan. Kaya na ating MOE, pwedeng tulungan ng LGU and other stakeholders. Nakakahawa sa mga katabing mga buildings. Naglilinis na rin. Well, while it's true na pwede ito, uh, this pertains to cleanliness sa surroundings, but more than that, it is a of the police during this pandemic. Saksila kay Lord, nakita yung lahat yun. Mula sa kapakupan ng mga health protocols coming from the idea, pagbibigay natin yung assistance sa kondisipyo ng ating mga yun na. Pati na rin sa vaccination program, pati na rin sa open training ka. All the activities, all this, changing of the different ones and status, the implementation of this, all the assistance, and doon ang quiz natin. Alam ng ating mga LGU, alam ng ating mga bayan, ang role ng Pilip National Police. Ang kailangan lamang is gawin natin ang maayon. That is, at pilitin, laging dagdagan pa ang ating ginagawa. Ang challenge sa bawat isa sa atin, patuloy na ipatasin, magkumpihan sa ating wala, yan ang ating objective. At magagawa natin yan sa ating malinis na maglilipod. Malinis na ating pagtatrabaho sa magpapakita ng disiplina na makikita ng bawat kamayan na ating kaibigan. So muli ako yung papasalamat at nagpupugay sa lahat ng mga awardees sa bagay ito. Uh, pati na rin po sa ating mga stakeholders, sa ating mga uh, local government units, as well as uh, the members of our ito mga volunteers natin na kagaya na bangit ko nga mula noon hanggang ngayon ay kasama na natin we are just uh, mobilizing them uh, through their volunteerism at isa lahat sa ating mga pulisan sa inyong uh, uh, patuloy na pagsisirvisyo sa ating bayan so in behalf of uh, the Philippine National Police maraming salamat po sa inyo pabuhay ang uh, Batangas Impio pabuhay tayo na magandang araw Thank you, Lord Officer, for the very inspiring message. May you request our Chief PMP to please reinform. Joining me will be the Regional Director, Piero Calverzo, Police General Elisario de la Cruz, Cruz, to be assisted by Police Colonel Elisario Sikansalo for the presentation of the memo. To our Chief PMP, sir. That's all I have. The Dignity and Spirit of Unity and Cooperation. It symbolizes the Balanganian's virtue of chivalry and courage. Thank you, sir. Next to be presented 
replacing wood carving. This is a photo of the GPNP and East Delhi Carved and in Sony Mahogany. Thank you very much, sir. And last but not the least, a wine rock.